Double Dragon. It's your boy, Amen. It's your boy, Like It. We back with some new heat for y'all today. Like the shit up. Uh... You heard what she said. Let's get it. Yeah, episode 64. Episode 64. I don't think we didn't find out the story yet that Kuroko was supposed to tell us. Ain't that wasn't that the story? Or how he came into his power? Unless no. there's some deeper, deeper stuff. The story was uh Akashi being two people and Kuroko saying, oh, I'll yeah, tell yeah, you yeah. why. Yeah, so I don't know, maybe we get into it this time. Yeah. Last time, we pretty much stand on just Kuroko, just finding who he is, getting into uh, the actual first string lineup six man. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's crazy, crazy, crazy adventure. Also, man, we know y'all been waiting. You know what I'm saying? But we about to get somebody special for y'all. You gotta look at the camera. All right, y'all. We gonna try to record our first video with Winter. What the? Say Kuroko. Jeez. <laughs> we're gonna see how this works out. Say Kuroko. Alright. She don't wanna talk. Okay. She don't know y'all yet. She don't know y'all. You're gonna get used to them. Alright. Put your hand to the screen and pet Winter on the head. Pet her on the head. Pet her. There you go. There you go. Do this. Rubber. She there like you like that. There you go. Rubber. Yeah. Alright, she feel good, right? Yeah. That nice coat. Winter. <laughs> her nickname is number two. Nickname. Well, her real name is Winter. <laughs> Alright, let's run it up. Let's run it up. No, she ain't going to. Oh, snap. Kuroko got a Menta Kise. Nobody hearing that now. You about to leave? Mm. Wow. Sorry. Man. Dang. Hey. Family. Ain't that crazy, Winter? That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Like, I know what you did. Trump. Oh my goodness! I got smacked in the face. Crazy, you like, nah, I don't think so. Mm. Say about the winter. She's about to go run somewhere. Mm, I couldn't see his eyes. They sent Kuroko after him that one time. Like Kuroko's personality. Oh, freaking do it, bro. <laughs> You're wrong. You don't know half of it. <laughs> he said, hi, so fast. Go to chips. That's crazy that he knew he was going to be the captain, though. He didn't even tell nobody. You putting your kids in uh, advanced school classes? Why not? They don't like them. Take them out. <laughs> Smashing. <laughs> Pass me the ball. <laughs> Here come Kuroko. 
Dang, Kuroko popped off. Dang, since when did we say Kuroko pop off like this? <laughs> they hit each other in mid. Yo, sock. He knocked his shoes off. Dang. This makes me understand their one on one match season one a lot more. Now they fight. <laughs> Full of hair, bro. <laughs> this man, bro. He say looking an amazing. Oh, shoot. This when he first became a god? Oh. It's crazy Kuroko came out of nowhere. It seems like the Akashi set that up on purpose. This is the downfall of Ayomade. They. They're in their people a lot. You're people watching. Dang, she needs to play football. Can't help it. Man, nosy butt. She wants this man. <laughs> He's like, yes. He's lying right now. Facts. Akashi. Please. <laughs> Back to you. Mm. Certainty. They'll never show him smiling. Kroko can't score. Thanks, I am a day who's getting into you. Tell it like it is, Akashi. Oh, I think that's his friend. Oh. Big facts. Why the girl staring at him like that? You think he's gonna meet him in the, in the nationals? I hope so. Dude got different color hair. Ogiwara Shiji Hero. The first laid back. See how they start to connect everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> One question at a time. Oh snap. He <laughs> said so you can't beat me. <laughs> <laughs> That's his homie. Man, been smashing. <laughs> he just ate it. Go <laughs> sleep. Why am like a freaking doctor's outfit? So we. That's strong. Why is he smiling? This is when he left him hanging. His tone changed and everything. Now he's saying, shut up, leave me alone. Bro, what is that, a lamp? Dang, took a hell. Dang. Dang, man. Crazy episode. A lot going on. A lot of things to like point out. But I'm just going to go straight into action. <clears throat> Give it in the seven. Not a lot of action. Um, just more backstory, which is dope to see still. Um, it's kind of a step away from the, what we know Kuroko to get into a game back to back and go crazy. Yeah. Not to giving us a story. But I'm going to give it a 7. Um, still seeing them playing the games. And Iomane had his first, like, monster-type-ish game. He was just scoring crazy. He had his first lean-back shot. You know what I'm saying? We've seen that. Yeah, I don't remember, like, too much, like, action, action going on. So I'm just going to give it a 7. Yeah, for me, I'm going to give it a 4. I didn't even see much action. It was more, it was action, but it was action we've seen already. Yeah. They pegged on it a little bit because I don't know. It kind of made that moment where I, where I don't mean they just like gave up. It kind of made that moment more like more like gut wrenching because he knew that dude that he like walked past and him saying that just put him in that whole little funk. Yeah. Like he already experienced it a little bit, 
You know what I'm saying? But in the Nationals, he was ready to play against this person because he knew he was good. You know what I'm saying? And he just gave up. He was like, dang, nobody could beat me. So yeah. that was kind of like, you know, uh, that was just kind of like pegging on to the, the action we already seen. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to just give it a four. I got you. Emotion, man. I'm going to give it a nine. Um, still some a lot of emotion in this episode. Um, what stood out to me the most was uh, Kuroko. His friend, yeah. Ogiwari, mm-hmm. Ogiwari, and how they was waiting two years to fight each other in the finals, and they was one game away to to meet each other in the nationals, and just they he just couldn't make it, but he called them crying, bro. I wonder, you know, what's gonna happen after that, but that and then like you said with Iomine, just seeing him change from being motivated to being unmotivated, you know what I'm saying, and kind of like just. Taking the spirits away from his opponents, bro. You know what I'm saying? He called him a monster. Called him a monster. And that's when he developed. The only one who could beat me is me. That's wow. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's a true statement in life, low key. Because mm-hmm. you could do pretty much anything you set your mind to. But, exactly. like, your mind be trying to, like, make you play tricks on you and say, you know, you can't do this or fear or you can't do this because you're scared or what do you think people going to say, blah, blah, blah. And different things like that, like you beating yourself up, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I, I I agree with that statement in life, but it's like that phrase caused him to be like unmotivated and stuff and change. So yeah, but yeah, I'm gonna give it a uh, nine. Emotion, I'm gonna give it an eight. Uh, it was more so only emotion I really felt felt was just like it was kind of just revisiting Iomane's like you know what I'm saying his like whole morale going down. I felt a little bit more because we got a little bit more backstory to it, but what really got me was Kuroko and his friend. I think his name is Ogiwara. Ogiwara, I think. I don't know. But just, you know what I'm saying, seeing, seeing like, him losing, I was trying to see, like, it, like how how this is going to play out if he was going to, if, like, Kuroko was going to mess up something or if yeah, his friend was going like, to, like, get out. injured or something like that. So yeah. now we see. But I feel like his friend... <laughs> And Akashi's left eye are connected somehow. I don't know why. It's just like, why are you telling us about this person? Like, you can't just have this whole, like, was it three episodes of just him and his friend, and then all of a sudden his friend loses. That's the last we're going to see of him? That's weird. Why even bring him into the story? I feel like those are connected somehow. Because the color of of his left eye is kind of close. I mean, it's not like dashingly, like like right there, but it's kind of <laughs> close. And we haven't seen uh, his his like uh, eye a different color until we first saw him, you know, during present day. Yeah. So something happened to make this eye go like that. Something happened. Something happened. Character development. Um, I'm gonna give it a ten. Mm-hmm. I think it's just the backstory and just us seeing how everybody's developing. You know what I'm saying? It's pretty. It's pretty dope seeing this. Um, this arc is starting off. Uh, just pretty cool. Yeah. I think they set it up like perfect to where we didn't know about it at all, and now we're like telling us about it. So we like excited to see like the, what what happened. It's like putting puzzle pieces together. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Even with Momo, like mm-hmm. she's coming into her her uh, skill set of collecting data and stuff for the team and realizing that she's good at it. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And Akashi. Pretty much started her doing that. This man was just playing everything. He was collecting data for him. You know what I'm saying? And so, like... I still don't see how we gonna see him as a... Like, it's something he did. Like, I don't see him as a bad person. I mean, of course, he probably did something, but I don't see him as a bad person right now. He's like, he did everything. Yeah, I mean, like... It was kind of like... When he did that uh, thing to Kuroko, when he told him about his his special ability, he kind of, like, Mr. Miyagi'd him. Right. So, like, he didn't he know the answer, but he, he ain't going to tell you. He just yeah. figured it out. You know what I'm saying? But And he technically came back with a crazy, strong face. Yeah. But he technically still told him. Technically did when he got on the court. Technically still told him. So, like, what was Kuroko going to do before he told him? What was he going to do? Like, was he going to, like, fail she... again? This is literally helped him. This backstory is, like, putting the pieces together to show that Akashi, like, is, like, Smashing everything. Yeah. I feel like they setting him up, they building him up as a good person, and he gonna do this one thing that was just so gut wrenching. <laughs> like, it's gonna be one crazy thing that he do. I don't know. Right. 
So we seen the development from uh, Hazaki getting kicked off the team. Yep. Um, Kisei and Ayomine kind of having the same kind of playing styles. Like, they was both going for a pass in the air. Yeah. Like, you know, like, ran into each other. Um, Musaki Bravo got his chips. You know what I'm saying? Minorima not really shooting a lot of threes. They ain't really mm-hmm. showing his gameplay a lot nah, right now. No, no, not really. Um, But, yeah, or they're not even showing him playing um, Shogi with Akashi yet mm-hmm. and stuff like that. But all in all, still the backstory is dope. I'm liking it, so I'm giving it a 10 so far. Here development, I'm giving it a 7. More so, we had um, the issue between Murasaki Bar and Midorima. And how Kuroko just went about fixing it. Even yeah. Akashi was just like, it's going to fix itself. Like, he didn't even say, he didn't even say nothing. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> seeing how not only did they fix that, but then he also ran into Kisei and Iomine going into it as well. And then they all just kind of like, I don't know, kind of like got better, I guess. Yeah. Uh, and then also what was some really noble, noble stuff, even though I wouldn't even do this to my son, is the fact that Niji... Uh, I can't say his whole name. Him stepping down, that was yeah. a pretty big, you know what I'm saying, development on him being that he yeah. was pretty, he was cold. He was like, just give it to Akashi. Yeah. I thought, I don't know. I feel like, I don't know why I had this feeling. I feel like Akashi go take a soul since they talking about he two people. Like, I don't know what what is what is going on here. Yeah. Like, how is he two people? Like, we haven't seen no crazy magic in his anime yet. Like, nothing crazy besides vanishing. <laughs> that's that's right. the only vanishing, thing that's like right. crazy magic. But yeah, and then um, I think I think that was mostly it, yeah. and um, just them adding more pieces, um, trying to make like the effect of uh, Iomine's like you know what I'm saying like degression, um, yeah. showing that showing that in a different light and making it like more like you know, felt like it was more like emotional. So yeah, that was the development I get it. So I give it a, a seven. Also, um, Mita, Mita Rima and Akashi was talking in the hallway. Yeah, Mita Rima said something about which Akashi is going to show. Something mm. like that. So I don't really know what he was referring to. Yeah. But it seemed like he already knew that it was two Akashis at that moment. Yeah, because some of his statements were kind of like stern. Like, I'm going to make him quit. Like, he was kind of mean in that hallway a little bit. He was like, dang, what the heck did yeah. I do? Like, I thought he was cool. Right. Like, he had two yeah. personalities or something yeah. like that. It seemed like Midorima was the closest to, to knowing Akashi. who he really was. Yeah. yeah. Everybody else just, just, just got orders from him. Midorima was with him all the time. Facts. So, yeah. It was pretty dope, man. Well, shoot. There y'all have it. This episode is... Like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see y'all again in the next episode. Double Dragon out. Peace. Deuces.